Welcome back to our channel. It's your girlfriend Ilungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far. Thank you for subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, and watching. I'm Wyatt to hit um, 18,000. I'm sure that's going to be in a couple of hours or by tomorrow. And we're very, very grateful. I hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed. A big shout out to the person that suggested this. And today we're going to be reacting to how Prophet Muhammad lived his whole life, simplicity, emotion. I always love Muhammad's stories, really, really love them and enjoy them a lot. Uh, you can check out our Facebook, uh, Funny and Jesse, our Instagram, Funny and Jesse, as well, and feel free to conversate with us. So, without wasting time, let's get into the video. When Umar ibn Khattab entered the Prophet's room, وسلم, he saw no cupboards, no luxury, nothing to sit on, no fruits, no dessert, no nothing. He sat on the floor and looked at him and said, Ya Rasulullah. He started crying, Umar ibn Khattab. He started crying, said, Oh Prophet of Allah, what have you got? The Prophet sallallahu said, Ya yeah, Umar, what makes you cry? He said, Oh Prophet of Allah, the Roman king, the Persian king, their seats, their thrones is made out of pearls and gold and silver and rubies. Their clothes is silk and gold. Well, you are the best of creatures chosen by the Almighty Lord. Look at how they're living and look how you're living. You know what the Prophet said? said? He said, Umar with a smile, Isn't it, doesn't it suffice us that for us is the hereafter and for them is this world and only this world? It's their paradise. Let them have it. We don't want it. We want eternal bliss and not temporary bliss. Because this is all it is in this life. A bit of enjoyment, that's all there is. And that enjoyment gets forgotten. As soon as one dip in hellfire, that happens to them. One dip, all oh, the excitement and enjoyment in this life is finished. One dip in paradise, all oh, the hardship, the burden that you went through on Muslim, you forget all about. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam never, he never wore silk, he never wore gold, he never dressed arrogantly, he never appeared in front of people like he was a king or an emperor, even when he was the absolute ruler. And it was common for people to look around and want to think, he should be sitting up someplace in a chair on a throne like other leaders. He should be wearing some gown of gold. He should be wearing some kind of crown. He should be a man with people around him serving him. But when they came in and they looked around, it was a common question. Who is Muhammad? Where is he? No one could tell who was the Prophet وسلم, among his followers because his clothes and what he ate and where he chose to sit was never different from the other people. You tell me, name one leader in the world that could compare with that. Any one of us, if we just get a raise on our jobs and they give us a little office, 
we get a big chair. If we make some money, we want a big house. We want a big car. And the Prophet وسلم, he used to sleep on a mat, like that mat on the floor. Only thing it was made from palm fiber, from dried grass. And that's how he slept on a dirt floor with no furniture in his house. So I ask my brothers and sisters who are listening to me today, oh, you who say that you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and you say that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is your guide and your prophet. Do you not wish to be next to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam? Do you not wish that you could come to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and grab his hand and shake it and give him a hug and say, Oh Rasulullah, how much I missed you. Oh Rasulullah, how much I loved you, how much I read about you. Oh Rasulullah, how much I wanted to, wanted to be with you. Do you not wish this? Curious question before I forget. Is the Quran read from right to left? Or it's read the normal way like we the rest of the almost the rest of the world does because i think the chinese as well don't do things the normal way so i'm just curious please feel free to answer me and like i said i love the story of muhammad and how humble he was how many of our leaders can say i'm humble i don't think we can even mention anyone that's humble out there the one this the one that they feel that about the people they feel they can't use the same dog as the people it's just the crazy world and those are the people who were saying we elected just how people become selfish when they're in power some don't even want to step down and some it's just it's just the crazy world someone is eating with the local people because he feels like he shouldn't be above them he's dressing like just any ordinary person he doesn't even want a luxury bed that speaks for itself there's so many things we can learn from Muhammad and for those people that are out there always saying they love Muhammad so much lead by example by trying by all means to be the way Muhammad was you can't be like him no but you can try to be kind look at everyone as an equal talk to everyone not with spite not with hate not with anger just a normal voice and see how things uh, go from there otherwise let me know what you guys think if you have any comments feel free to comment in the comment section below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video